Hey everybody and welcome into Clearing the Benches. Today we're going to be taking a look at the NHL's Central Division where tonight all eight teams are in action including two head-to-head -head matchups. So let's get right into it. Uh, first thing going on is Colorado Avalanche are in first place. They are 15 and 6 with 30 points but there are six teams behind them within eight points. So uh, everybody in that division, there's going to be a lot of up and downs. I think Colorado is going to stay at the top for the most part. Um, but underneath that, you could see a lot of fluctuation. You know, teams like Nashville, Minnesota, St. Louis, uh, Coyotes. Um, I just think those are, you know, a lot of those teams are very similar. They play different styles of games, but somehow their records are all bunched together. It's definitely a log jam in there right now. So let's get into the, tonight's action. The first thing that we've got going on is the Colorado Avalanche are making their way down into Arizona, and they're going to be into the mullet tonight. And they are taking on the Arizona Coyotes, who are currently at 10, 9, and 2 with 22 points. And again, they are right in the middle of that giant log jam that's in the central. Um, right now, the Arizona Coyotes are in the middle of a streak where they are playing the last six straight cup winners. So, uh, surprisingly, they're doing pretty well. They beat Vegas, they beat Tampa Bay. Uh, teams that play a heavier style give Arizona a little bit of a tough time. Winnipeg, the Islanders, St. Louis. But uh, last year, they beat Colorado in the mullet. So, let's see if they can do it again. Uh, the next game we've got up is the Blackhawks are going up against Detroit. Now, Everyone's talking about Patrick Kane. Is he going to make his debut tonight? I think he will. It'd probably be pretty cool seeing him go up, you know, first time in a Detroit uniform. He goes up against his old team, he goes up against Connor Bedard. I think as far as all the fanfare goes, everything, you know, is, is all set. It's ready to go. So we'll see if Kane plays tonight. I think they said he's going to, so let's hope he does. And we'd have a cool matchup, you know, him against Bedard, him against his old team. And let's just see how it all works out, you know, the Debrinkat. Uh, Dylan Larkin matchups. Let's see, you know, where he winds up, what line he winds up playing on. But uh, it's definitely something that we're going to be keeping our eye on tonight for sure. The next game we have is the Dallas Stars tonight. They're playing against Calgary. Dallas is coming in at 13-5-2. They are 6-3-1 in their last 10. So they are definitely heating up and they're definitely going in the right direction. Calgary they're at 9, 10, and 3. I didn't think they'd have a good record, you know, as good a record as this. Um, but I think there's a lot of changes that are going to be coming in Calgary. I don't think there's going to be um, as many guys on that team at the end of the season as far as names, Zadarov, uh, maybe even, you know, you take a look at Jacob Markstrom. Uh, there's going to be some guys on that team that other teams are going to be calling about. And, you know, after what Zadarov did with the whole thing in the press, I know they talked about it and they said it's all, you know, water under the bridge now, but that never is true. So uh, the next game we've got is Winnipeg, and they are 12-7-2 right now. And tonight they are playing against the Edmonton Oilers. And the Oilers are 8-12-1. But Connor McDavid is smoking hot right now. I think he's got something like 12 points in his last three games. So, um, again, for me, it, Edmonton, it's going to come down to the back end. It's going to come down to goaltending. Um, I just think the guys that they have right now aren't going to cut it. I don't think they're going to be able to go deep into the playoffs with the, play, with the defense that they have or the goaltending. Um, you know, and uh, let's see where they go. You know, let's see what happens. What if something crazy happens, like, you know, you come March and Edmonds is out of a playoff race, you know, the guys on that team start, you know, putting in trade requests. So uh, the next one we've got here is St. Louis against Buffalo. Now, St. Louis is coming in 11-9-1. Again, they're right in the middle of that log jam. And Buffalo is coming in at 10-10-2. and um, I think a lot of teams thought that Buffalo would be off to a better start, but obviously they're struggling. Uh, they're not getting you know, the production out of the guys that they thought they would be getting it out of. Uh, TNT's been injured, so that's, you know, been a thorn in their side. I think they just sent Devin Levi down to Rochester, so I thought they had high hopes for him as far as the goaltending. I think that they thought he was going to be able to step in and take over as the number one, and they thought that, you know, he was going to lead Buffalo into a playoff chase. So we'll have to see what happens up in Buffalo, but for right now, um, it's not looking too good. St. Louis on the other side of things. Somehow they're just right, you know, right in the middle of it. And Barubi's got them playing. You know, they beat teams that I don't think they should be beating. And then they, you know, look and you see them lose to a team that they should have probably beat. So uh, 
I don't see much coming out of St. Louis. If they were to make the playoffs, I think they would be a one and done. And to be honest with you, I don't even think they're going to make the playoffs. Next, we've got Minnesota going up against Nashville. Head-to-head -head Central Division lineup action. Uh, Minnesota, as we know, they just fired Dean Evison recently, but they beat St. Louis 3-1 in John Hines' first game as coach behind the bench. So let's see if they're able to turn it around, but they have dug themselves a deep, deep hole in Minnesota. Um, Gustafson's going to have to get right. Kaprizov's going to have to get right. i looking at Kaprizov. He's got the numbers, but he's his plus minus is horrible. Uh, so... Um, Nashville, 11, 10, and 3. To be honest with you, surprising me. Andrew Burnett has Nashville playing well down there. I did not think this team was going to even be close to being, I don't want to say contender, but even middle of the pack. I thought they would be bottom of the barrel this year. You know, so I think in terms of, uh, you know, goaltending, and they do have, you know, some help on the back end. That's the type of stuff that you could win enough games during a regular season, 4-3, 3-2, that you might be able to squeak into the playoffs. And again, you know, you never know once the playoffs start. So I think that we've touched on all the games that were being played tonight in the Central. Uh, let me know what you think, who's going to win the games tonight. And if you like the content that we put on there, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the like button. As always, if you could subscribe and hear it clear in the benches. Let them know you're out there.